Peace, King. How are you, my brother? Peace, man. How are you? I'm doing great, man. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the Love King is here. Raheem Devon is on the Flow Show tonight. Um, light up the comments. Show him some love, man. Show him some love, man. You've been putting it, you've been putting it down. Um, we first heard of you in 05, but you've been putting it down pretty sure way before that. Um, getting your foot in the door, man. Doing the thing and been putting on for R and B, keeping that real uh, feel good music alive, my brother. So definitely, man. Definitely, thank you for joining me tonight, man. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you for having me on the show. Blessings, 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 blessings. I, listen, I, I love the new album. I love the new album. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna talk about it, um, the process and everything with you putting this, this album together. I, I feel like you're always putting out great music. Um, you know, every couple months we hear something from you, and you you, you always say consistent, and it's always good quality of work um, that you put out, man, for for the R&B fans of the world, man. So definitely, man, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Definitely, man. Um, <clears throat> I want to, I want to, I want to go back for a second. Um, for 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 the, for the listeners here and, and make it real nostalgic. Um, you know, you grew up in the D.C. area. Um, you know, what type of music, right? Because when I listen to Raheem Devon, I hear Marvin, I hear D'Angelo, I hear Prince. I was saying that those are some of the people I hear. Um. You know, like all in one. You know what I mean? And of course, absolutely. Your own twist and your own flow. Um, what what kind of music was your folks playing in the house growing up? Yeah, um, Prince. I, I, well, I was I was I was creeping off and listening to the Prince. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. as a youngin, like so I definitely <laughs> was a huge influence. But I was creeping off listening to the Purple Rain. I, I, I feel like at the age I was, that was appropriate. It was a great album, but it wasn't appropriate for for me. To um, some of it wasn't appropriate for me to be listening to at that time, but um, but I just was intrigued. You know, I saw I saw the I saw the um, the um, unedited version of Purple Rain, and and I was you know, I was sold after that. So <laughs> you, <was inspired. laughs> you know, yeah, so because you know, there's two versions to that movie. So, um, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, and de and definitely Marvin. You know what I mean? I, and I think that that's where um. You know, with D'Angelo coming out in '95, and 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 then me coming out in 2005, like a decade later, um, um, I would absolutely have to say that there's definitely some influences there as well. I think we have two. I think we we. But well, I know he's heavily influenced by Marvin and Prince as well. So I think that that's where you know what I'm saying definitely the comparisons come in. Um, the fact that I can, you know, I can make, I can I can sing, you know, everything from bass to like soprano. You know, you know what I mean in terms of um, um, harmonizing with myself and overdubbing and stuff like that. Um, but I always been a fan of that process. You know, again from like Marvin Gaye and and, and Stevie Wonder, um, you know, and, and Prince as well. You know what I mean? Hmm. Your, your dad was a musician, right? Correct. Say again. Dad, yeah, 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 musician, yeah, yeah. Right? He's he's so. he's actually um, he's actually uh, retired jazz um uh, cellist um he actually um it's crazy hold on one second here i'm at the i'm at the uh the office or the trap or the studio whatever you want to call it these days um my father he put out this album this is one of his albums um that actually came out on black friday and they 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 uh they um they sold out so quickly like the vinyl that you know what I mean? So they're gonna be able to be available. They'll they'll be um available again. But this is like a trio that he was in called Black Unity Trio. Uh, one of one of a few you know different albums that he has out. You know, um, but child child prodigy child prodigy cellist. You know, um, in the jazz and, 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 and you know um, jazz and classical world. Um, you know he's been all around the world. You know for his gift with his gift. Performing under uh, under the artist name Abdul Wadud, um, yeah. So that's my dad. So 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 when you so when you so what what age were you when you, when you decided that you wanted to sing when you first you know? I probably could time. tell you that the way I got the itch probably nineteen eighty four. How old? Like, like eighty four, eighty five. I can man, I can't remember. I, I just know it was eighty four, eighty five. Um, you know, uh, I remember. Um, you know, I think 
things that are like the death of Marvin Gaye affected me tremendously mm -hmm. as a child. I remember that, you know, affecting me and, you know, DC and, and, and the world, you know, mm -hmm. I remember seeing that as a kid, um, all, um, you know, unfold. I remember, uh, um, you know, Motown 25. I remember, you know, seeing, seeing, uh, Michael Jackson moon, moon walk across, yeah, moon walk across the stage, you know, so so certain things is just you know, and that luck and that luck and then getting that itch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that um you know for 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 musicians man and for artists you know, it music chooses you. I don't think you really choose it. Um, I think that you know, it chooses you all the way. Um, it's a gift that you have. So, being that your father was 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 a musician as well, um. It was when you when you went to your folks and said, "Hey, I want to do this." It was you had the full support and the, the full backing from your family. Um, from, yeah, I matter. mean, I mean, when I first, yeah, it kind of came out the blue. You know, it was my first year of college, where I kind of unveiled that that's what I was going to be doing, and I didn't really have an interest to stay in school and stuff like that. So, um, I think I think both my parents would have would if they would have had a day way, I would have finished, um, you know, and got my degree. You know, mm -hmm. um, and that's something that I. That, that if I had to do over again, I don't have many regrets. I probably would have definitely made sure that you know I secured myself with a with a with a degree. But um, I mean, you know, I I still I'm still flying high, doing my thing. You know, many moons later, you know, on my eighth album, and just I got a lot I got a lot coming too. You know what I mean? Like I'm just I'm just getting started. I don't think I've I've given the world my best music yet. So. Um, you know, as you can see from this album, it's getting better and better. Um, I, I want to talk about, I want to touch on um, you getting signed to, to your first deal, um, you getting signed to, to the job, right? Yeah, That's yeah. Job. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, uh, Je Jazzy Jeff was, 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 was one of the people who, who played, who played a role in that. Yeah. Um, in, in that situation, right, in your career? Um, Jeff wasn't, like, instrumental in the deal with Jive. Actually, Jeff, to be completely transparent, was anti-Jive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was... Yeah, um, Jeff was instrumental in just in terms of um, a lot of other things, though. Just exposing yeah. exposing me to the world, exposing me, you know, helping me um, cultivate relationships. Um, um, you know, if you spend enough time with Jeff, you kind of you kind of know how to run a production company. You know what I'm saying? From from being under his wing and being a fly on the wall, if you're paying attention, you'll learn a lot. You learn how to, you, you know, you learn how important it is to have ears. You learn that, um, how important it is to um, have an understanding of um, the diversity of music and different genres of music. Um, you know, from whether it's hip hop to 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 uh, house music to whatever you name it. You know what I'm saying? Soul music. Um, you know, you'll learn the difference between beat makers and producers. You know what I mean? Um, so Jeff was, for me, he was instrumental in that. You know, we call we call Jeff, he's like um, um, Professor X and Morpheus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For, what's, you know, what's, the, what's the best piece of, uh, um, of advice, advice he ever gave you? He didn't want me to do the deal with Jeff. Like, I think, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I won't say, well, I won't say it, it tainted the relationship. But, um, but I just know just what 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 he went through. One of the first conversations I remember us having was about driving. You know, when him and Will, you know, mm -hmm. it was the Happy Meal story. I don't know if you know about gotcha. the infamous Happy Meal story, gotcha. but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when they when they when they leave the Grammys, they just won. They just won. You know, mm -hmm. they they they've been the um the pinata for you know the culture in terms of standing up to the Grammys and, you know, hip hop, having a category and all these things. And, um, you know, um, gave them some of the best music, gave them, po you know, gave the world positive music. And, and um, you know, they leave the Grammys in a limo and didn't have money to buy Happy Meal. Exactly. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Exactly. So, um, so yeah, so, 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 I mean, um, I I would say the independent, um, you can do it yourself mindset mm -hmm. is something that Jeff definitely um has instilled in a lot of people, you know. 
um, more, it's, it's just, you know, learning how to play the game and playing the game to win and educating yourself on certain things. You know what I mean? Like, I would say that that's – and and I think um, um, being – being, um, you know, being a bridge for the culture, you know, and that's something that I instill myself in, pride myself in doing as well. Like, in terms of like, you know, from from the from the day when I got the call, you know, um, hey, we got this kid, we want you to come meet at the radio station named Wale, or um, you know, discovering artists like Logic, or you know, just any artist from my city um, that um, you know. I can mentor to or get in the studio with or, you know, slide them a hook, you know, you know what I mean? That type of thing. Um, yeah, I just learned a lot from, you know, understanding where relationships are and just investing in the in the future and the culture, you know, giving them the information and the jewels and not harboring information and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I definitely feel like those are some of the tools that um that I attained from being in that circle with Jeff and, you know, my peers. Why do you, what, do you think that Jeff wanted you to be independent? It seems like, it seems like you probably still don't know what you, um, maybe you do, what he wanted you to actually do. You think he wanted you to be more independent? Yeah, I think, no, I just think that it just because of the history with Jive, like, he just knew, like, you know what I'm saying? He dealt with it firsthand, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that then, you know, contractually things were different still then, you know? I didn't get a, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get a bad deal, you know, when I did the deal, but I didn't get the deal that I would have wanted either, you know what I mean? Like back then, back then you had to sign with, you know, as far as publishing companies go, and publishing, like you had to sign with, with, um, with, with, with Zamba at the time. You couldn't even do the deal. I was smart, so I was asking questions like, hey, do I got to sign with this publishing company? Do I even got to do, I don't want to do a pub deal yet. Like I wanted, to, you know, I I, I had my, in my mind, I'm just, just give me the record deal. I don't need the pub deal. You know, they're like, if you gonna take this record deal, you are gonna take this pub deal because they wanted to own half. Because I was a writer, and the, and the Love Experience album was was a, uh, you know, at the time I we didn't know it was gonna be a nostalgia about behind it, but um, well actually we did. They didn't know, but it it, it was you know I wrote the entire album, so. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, coming from a system, I'm sure that they saw, um, I'm sure that they saw the value in that, you know, having artists who, who were self-contained there, like R. Kelly, you know, who wrote his entire album. I probably was the only other artist there maybe that did that, that was doing consistently that was doing that, that could do it like with, you know, similar to how I hear, you know, um, he recorded or, or, or Tupac or, or Jay Z, you know, not not physically writing stuff down, and you know what I mean. So it it was it was one of those things where they um the pain game was serious. That's just what it is. Yeah, I wouldn't even say the pain game. Serious. It was just the, yeah, my vibe, my vibe, my vibe is was, was serious. It's always been serious. You know what I mean? Like I didn't, I don't physically write stuff down. You know, um, um, I'm I I, I think I'm definitely I'm, I'm much more of a perfectionist now though. You know, I've grown into that, into perfection. And I think, and I wasn't a master at my art then either. You know, surprisingly, that might be surprising to some. Um, but I can admit that. Like, I feel like I've only really become a master at what I do of my craft um, and still growing. Probably in, through, um, in the last, since like 2018, that's when I really feel like, you know, 2018 through now is where I really feel like I've become like, a master of my craft, like it's effortless, it can, you know, it's over, it's repetitious, and I understand where it comes from, and I understand um, the purpose and the, and the gift behind it too. So sometimes, you know, that's that. Sometimes that's even more more important. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I feel like the universe and the creator doesn't give you things until they feel like you're ready for them. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, yeah that's. So, go ahead. I'm sorry. And of course, you know, as as an artist, you grow. Um, and, and you want to continue to grow and perfect your craft. And, and it, that's the, yeah, that's the, that's, that's, that's ultimately the goal. Not all artists grow, though. Mm -hmm. You know that's what I'm saying? Like, yeah, not that's all that's artists grow. That's why you know? the first album, the first album, they still bump that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, they still bump that. So you still have, you still have, 
we still have great music, but you can definitely see in the music just the growth, man, uh, over the years and you know different experiences and the different things that you know you reflect in your music. It, it's it's shown. The people could definitely see it. Absolutely, on. absolutely. People could definitely see it. The vocals, people could definitely see it. Absolutely, absolutely. When did you when did you um when did you pick up the name the Love King? Um, that was right around. The love sex that that was around the love sex passion album, um. No, actually that was around a place called Loveland, album because that's the album that Ridiculous was on. That was that a good friend of mine, previous manager. Um, we still do business. You know, one of my big supporters, Mike MacArthur. That was like a a conversation we it started. It was a phone conversation we had. It was about you know it was about reinvention because I've always felt like throughout my career I've I found I've 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 have found cool ways to um to to not only brand myself but rebrand myself. You know, the beginning of my career it was uh it was doing the mixtapes. You know, being the first you know soul R and B singer. Uh, so, yep. Yeah, to make to make mixtapes like a whole mixtape. You know, twenty songs, beat jacket like you know mm -hmm. fifty cents, G unit type vibes. And I had to so I had a street experience, volume one. You know, I had my tags and my plug. The dream is real. You gotta have vision, you know what I'm saying? That was all those were all like different tags, you know. Um shout out to Kenny Burns who went on to make a book called The Dream Is Real. Um, like, you know what I mean? I like this yeah, like it was just it was I was aspiring to inspire, but I didn't realize the effect that, that shit was having like on the on the culture, like, you know what I'm saying? Um although I wasn't this it was like it's kinda like I'm this household name, but I'm not this household. It's like I'm this household name without the household fame. Do, 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 that makes do, sense. Do you feel like Do you feel like some Do you feel like sometimes people um, you don't get enough credit? Um, for the work that you put in. Yeah, I think everybody feels like that, <laughs> but probably a handful of people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think as human beings, we 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 we've been conditioned since we been birthed to want more so it's never enough you know what i'm saying mm. um you know so often i see my name mentioned you know as, as as underrated or don't get the just credit or what or what have you but um the reality is i'm here i'm gonna be here my name is gonna always be in the conversation of great music and when i'm not here anymore you know what i mean um you know as well so um, excuse me. It's it's so it's it's. I'm more of a I'm a, I'm more of a go where you celebrated kind of cat. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and 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 eventually it cuts it, it cuts through. Like you know, um. Again, you know everything have its time and place, and you know, I I feel like me personally, I feel like Mr. Midnight is probably my biggest record. Like it, it's and it's just heating up. Like radio so, just start, radio just starting to engage on it. And uh, yeah, I predict that it'll be, you know, for this deck for the decade. You know what I'm saying for this new decade that we in. You know, um, you know, and um, and I got a vault full of them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Records. Exactly. You know. So exactly. yeah, yeah. So I, so yeah. I mean, I, it's pretty. I've been. I mean, the track record speak for itself. I think I've been very consistent with, you know, back in 2019. I mean. The pandemic just kind of threw us off schedule a little bit, but mm -hmm. like, I you know I put out two albums in less than nine months, you, you know, you so did. it's like what more, you know, um, don't come easy was a huge um, record for me, you know, um, and uh, you know for the decade as well. So it's 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 um it's a it's work in progress, you know. I'm a, I'm a, I let the people say what they say. And, and and just try to keep it keep it humble, stay focused, you know, stay on course. Yeah, man, I I remember um, I was I was a little tight with you for a minute because <laughs> I remember you teased us with the with the Mr. Midnight record, right? And you yeah. went on live and you played that joint, and I was like, you know what I did though, right? Let me tell you what I did. I'm a criminal <laughs> for this for this for this one thing. You kept running the track back. I yeah. recorded it. Yeah. I took it. I put it on my computer. I extract the audio. Yeah. And I was playing that shit in the whip. 
<laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I, I know. Playing, I, hey, look. I, I know all that be win. going on, so that's why a lot of times I bring it back. I'll be like, "Yo, this is an exclusive." I, I, I talk to it. it. I pause it. You ain't I care about you, none of that. I didn't care what you did on the record. I was yeah. playing in the whip. I didn't tell nobody about. It. I was just playing in the whip. That was my joint, and I was like, "Damn." And I hit you too. I was like, "Bro, when you gonna release that?" You know, you're gonna put I mean? that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember <laughs> that. that. I remember that. You had teased everyone with it a minute ago. Yeah. The visual, the visual, even the visual for it, I think it's on a whole different level. I think it's it's it's, it's dope. Like we had a lot of fun shooting that. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did, I did. You know, I try to keep it, always keep it, um, keep it, keep it colorful, but keep it classy. You know, mm -hmm. um, with the where the ladies are involved. You know what I mean? And 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 you know, it's a lot of um. I see a lot of artists risking it all for the, for a couple of likes, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I don't want to be that guy, you know what I mean? I mean, I remember the heat I caught when I put out the She Single video and everybody had something to say, you know. And then I watched a lot of I watched a lot of artists then go do whether the label put them up to it or what have you, and go try to try to reduplicate that, you know what exactly. I'm saying? So so it's you know it's um it's um I've learned over the years that you know. You have to aspire to inspire that imitation is a form of flattery. And, you know, and, but more importantly, though, is that um, I, too, borrow and, I, and, 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 and I'm inspired from a place, you know. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So it, it's it's um, it's art, man. You know, I'm 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 constantly in love with what I do and, um, and making tasteful art, you know. And uh, we got it. We got some notes coming real soon too. Jeez. Yeah, you yeah. just put out um, what, what a time to be in love. Yeah. Um, um, back in December. Yeah. Um, what, what, what was what was the the creative process going into the album? This album, especially just with the pandemic and everything going on, um, with you know us, our people fighting for equality, um, things that we've been fighting for for for, for since the forever. Beginning. Yeah, yeah. Um, forever. Yeah. Um, what was the creative process? Because I'm pretty sure this album, the, the space, just the world is in at this mm -hmm. moment, is different. So what was what was that like for you? Um, I wanted to put something out that was that you know that was a time stamp on this time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, um, and, but I also understood people need a sense of escapism. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um. So, you know, I am finally have embraced the fact that um, not being concerned about what other people think and doing what I know that I should do and what people and what the people want from me. You know what I mean? And, and, and they want that balance. Like, you know, they want the socially conscious vibe, but they want the, they, you know, they want to go to the bedroom, too. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to get the want the yeah, the yeah, they want to get the sage lit. You know, they want to get the doobie, <laughs> the, the, the spliff roll. They want to, you know, um, you know, and then they want to pillow talk about the world afterwards. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, uh, what good, a time. It's a, good, yeah. it's a good blend of both. Yeah, and being in love is a is a is a if you if you if you are in love right now, like it's a you know it's. It started out as what a time to be alive, you know what I'm saying? But Drake and Future had already done that, you know? And I, and I felt like what a time to be alive was more appropriate in a double entendre of, you know, where we are as people and matters of the heart, you know what I mean? Um, this, you, always, you always represent love, too. I try, yeah, I try to, I try to always operate, you know what I'm saying, in that, in that frequency. Like, you know, it's, 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 um, it's vital. It's vital. It's vital to my sanity, and it's vital to uh, to our existence. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, for me, that it's it's the highest frequency we can operate on, um, and it costs nothing to operate. You know what I'm saying? In love and forgiveness and all of these things. Hmm. Um, I want to I want to touch on uh, we touched on Mr. Midnight. I want to touch on um, uh, Marvin used to say. Um, yeah, yeah. In the social injustice, you know that it touches on. What, what was your mindset? What, what was you? How was you feeling when you went into to writing that? 
Um, so that was a record that I didn't that I didn't pin. You know what I mean? Um, mm. I can't I can't take the credit. I did do some penmanship on that record, but that was a record that um that like fell in my lap. Big shout out to Lover Boy Vo and 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 um, Desperados and Mike Blaze, um, who are some phenomenal songwriters, producers. Um, you know, um, as well as, as and you know, um, Vo was an actual artist too, independent artist from the Carolinas. Um, and he had he had actually sent me the record. You know what I'm saying? And I never, I haven't even asked him to this day. I don't know if he was bouncing the record off of me, like because he was proud of what he had just did. Because when I heard it, I knew what it was. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or or he was like, I don't know what it was. What made him send me that to this day? You know what I'm saying? Um, besides probably fate, you know what I mean, destiny, what have you. And he sent me the record, and I called him and was like, and I and I and I and I. So I immediately started to ask him questions about the record, like, yo, what are you planning on doing with this? Is this for you? Are you? Yeah, are you selling it? Like, this for you? This for me? Yeah, can I? I, Like, and so and then I, in real talk, I begged him for that joint, like you know, respectfully, like (laughs) as we say on Clubhouse. (laughs) <laughs> you know what I mean? Like to keep it a, to, keep, to keep it a being a buck and, 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 and you know and true. I um yeah, I, I you know, and 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 and, I, and, I, and I'm thankful that he was he really got it. I, matter of fact, you know how I started the conversation. I called him and I said, Man, do you know who Leon Ware is? And then I took him down the story of Leon Ware and Barry Gordy and Marvin Gaye and um <clears throat> The um, the uh, Marvin Gaye "I Want You" album, and um, for 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 those for those that don't know the story, that you know that entire album was written and produced by Leon Ware. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And very. I, 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 not to cut you off, but I found that out like probably like a year ago because I when I when I listen to albums these days, I always go look in the credits. Yeah. And I. I yeah. So Leon, 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 Leon's like was like a, a, a you know, it's an OG. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you know, we called him the sensual minister. You know what I'm saying? So, but like, he was, you know, I, I got a, I, I got an opportunity in my lifespan to actually meet him and kick it with him and, you know, smoke a J and, you know what I mean? Talk about music and life and Marvin. And um, I actually, at the time, I was going to get his blessing for, a remake that I did of um, Marvin Gaye, I Want You, was a house version of the record that, mm-hmm. that I did with Kenny Dope for Masters of Work um, at the time, and it hadn't came out yet, and um, they had ended up connecting on some stuff as well, and, uh, you know, he's been influential in a lot of different things, you know, Maxwell something something, he was a writer and producer on that, on that single, you know, which kicked off Maxwell's career, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, so... Um, so 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 back to the story for people that don't know the story basically um Barry felt like Marvin had the look and Leon had the sounds of the look you know what I'm saying he had the sound that was needed and he he had to figure out how to get he had to figure out how to convince Marvin to do these records and he had to convince Leon how to give his entire b- body of work that he gave that to Marvin know, to Marvin, you know what I'm saying? Like exactly. Can you imagine what that was? Like, like? I want these records for me. He's like, yo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so, um, you know, he did Leon you know, come inside my love and mm-hmm. um, just so many big records, you know. Um, and so, so I, so I, so I, so, I, so, I, so basically, you know, um, so we chopped it up about that. And 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 nah, man, they was with it. They were with it. And 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 I said, I just feel like I said, but I also told them, I said, look, allow me the space creatively to now go to now take it and 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 add to it and do some of the things that I feel like um will take it will, 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 what I'm hearing while I'm in love with it. And um, because it wasn't initially called Marvin used to say, you know what I'm saying? It was called something else. And um, they gave me they you know they was man they was a one with it. I can't even lie, bro. Like you know, and um, so those are my guys, man, for life. You know, we gonna um, we got some other things we are gonna be doing too, you know, down the pipeline. Um, but yeah, so I went in and, and did what I did, and you know, um, got with my partner KP for the album, you know, the colleagues, and mm-hmm. 
you know they did some that things. Makes great music together. Yeah, man. yeah, they did some stuff on the they did some stuff on the production side. You know, shout out to um Desperado who's open to that. It's just like a lot of times, man. You know, sometimes you in, in trying to do what we do in our business, like it's a lot of egos involved. You know what I mean? Nice. A lot of times. So I nice. think I think it was a um. And it, in some cases, dishonesty. You know, what I'm saying you, people want more piece of the pie than they deserve, and and just that, and just that type of thing. You know, what I'm saying. But I have never been one of those writers that you know. I'm. I, I I know I have a special gift and I'm dope at what I do. But um, there's other people out there that ju- that are just as dope, if not doper. You know what I mean? And um, so it's about connecting with them and doing good business so we can do business in the future. For me, you know. Yeah, man. You know, the, he, 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 this this industry, of course, is is one of those. You know, it's a cutthroat business all the time, man. So to to have a, a career like yours, you got to do good business. You know what I mean? To be to be to be at the place that you're in your career, you wouldn't have made this far if it's not doing good business. And, you know. Salute to the brother for giving you the record, man. Uh, I think that, you know, sometimes to, because, you know, you can have a song and, and it, it, like the person who delivers the message, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think you were a great choice for, to deliver the message. Absolutely. That that song, that that song came with, man. Absolutely. Powerful, and it's, powerful message. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. And it's, 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 um, it's definitely like, I can't, I can't say it just yet, but it's something big about to happen. So, that I'm that I'm finishing up now. Um, I can't tell you that that the, the video for Marvin used to say will be will be um, world premiering during the month of April. <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, in spirit, and, and you know, and to kick off his birthday. Ooh, ooh, exclusive. <laughs> yeah, that's how we're gonna do that. So, so for those that have been wondering, like you know. Where's the video? Why why you why you been holding the video for Marvin used to say, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna we definitely can expect that for, you know, his birthday. Don't tell nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep it keep it head. Now nah, you can tell high. everybody. Run run and tell <laughs> run and tell that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> tell a friend and tell a family, tell the world. Yeah. Um um what, what experience do you want fans to take to take your fans to take away from this project? Um Man, I just um that you know, I'm not here for play, man. I'm I'm here. I'm a, I'm here. I'm gonna be. I'm a, I'm here. I'm gonna be here. You know, um, when you need those feel good vibes, um, you know, we trying to reach a higher level of consciousness when it comes to like love and 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 and, and the foreplay and and the intimacy. I'm gonna be here for you, pumping through them we speakers. Got you. You know, gotcha. bump, rocking through the speakers, you he know. He's going to give you the vibes that you need. You can play yeah. that thing and let it play. You know, when you need to hit that, when you need to um, hit that gym, you know, and, 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 and whatnot, you know, you're on your way to, uh, to, 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 you know, fight the powers that be, you know. Um, I'm going to be here for you that, I'm going to be here for you with that too, you know. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. And when you... And, and when you need to um when you need to learn your ABCs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. The room jumping the nice out the love queen nation up in here. Welcome to the Flowway Show. It's a Love King takeover right here. Feels like I'm caping for the D. Effortlessly. Shout out to Raquel Brown. Grip. Wait, baby. Grip. Spoken word artist phenomenon from the area. Just a tip now. Kiss. Our lips become locally accepted, internationally known on the microphone. Love me a long time. Hello. Long time. Hello. Mom's <laughs> feeling my follicles. You standing straight up like the hairs on my neck. This nasty, open, pulsating, quaking. The yeah. Uh, so if you've been smile. living under a rock, sweet, unique to our chemistry. I'm vulnerable. This wide open. So waste not one, not love. Eat. X-rated my man Flowway asked me, "What can you learn from from, from my album? My new album, What a Time to Be in Love." I would have to say. 
one of the cool things you can learn is the alphabet. <laughs> All right now. A, 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 yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right. A, yeah, yeah. A, if I let you, would you put that ass up on me? Would you be my wonderful, my tender bonus? I just want to climb inside, girl, and crush you. Back to deep, dive, go deep, yeah. Everybody gets to see. M-U-C-K-I-N-G When I lick that honeycomb You be going hell Flowing like Niagara Falls When I break you down Yeah And I'm kissing and stroking When your sex to me is open When I'm down on your love Yeah, yeah, baby Yeah when you holler and you're screaming, watch your back and then I lean. And when I'm down on your love, oh, baby, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Till you lean off the bed, till you break your nails and hit your head on the headboard. When I'm down yonder on your love, baby, yeah, yeah. Till you feel me down your dress, feel me down your spine. Till you say it's TQ until it's that about time. I won't, baby. No, 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 no. Till you scream in Jesus' name in vain. Keep it there for me. L-O-V-I-N-G. Mercy, no. Ooh, oh. Now say that pronoun he belong to me. And I'm gonna treat you like my Q U double E, and and I'm gonna stay on go till your body say when set you up till you tick 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 boom. See you up 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 on top till Victoria is showing me all of your secrets when you're kissing and stroking when you set oh. to me is open when I'm down on your love, baby, yeah. Oh, when you holler and you scream, then arch your back and then I lean. And when I'm down on your love, baby, yeah, yeah, baby, yeah. Till you lean on the bed, you break your nails and hit your head on the headphones. When I'm down, y'all just on your love, baby, yeah. Listen. Till you feel me down your dress, feel me down your spine. Till you say it's TKO until it's that about time. I won't, baby. No, 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 no. Listen, baby. W's for all the work that I'm going to put in. X is for as rated. So nasty when I taste it. Y is for the way that you never tell me no. And Z is for the way you love me like an animal, like lions, tigers, and bears. We've been mating like the birds and bees. <laughs> Suffocating in your love, and I don't come up for it. When I'm getting a token, baby. Hey, when it's over. When I'm down on your love, baby, yeah, oh yeah. When you holler and you scream, then watch your back and then I lean, then. When I'm down on your love, baby, 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 yeah, baby. Uh, till you lean off the bed, you break your nails and hit your head on a headboard. When I'm down, y'all to own your love, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Till you feel me. Feel me down your spine. Till you say it's seeking you until it's that about time. I won't, baby. No, 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 no. no. Oh, baby. W's for all the work that I'm going to put in. X is for it's rated. So nasty when you shake it. Why's for the way that you never tell me no? And Z is for the way you love me like an animal. 
on the flow way show. Yeah, on the flow way show. Go. You yes. can get it, you can get it, you can get it, you can get it, girl. And I don't come up. Oh. For <laughs> hey, Listen, you I miss man. I tell you what, man. I miss being on them <laughs> stages, man. I miss being on these stages and I know my you know doing my thing, thing city to city, and you know what I mean. Man, I've done I, I, I've done plenty of shows too. I remember the last show I did with you was in Bali, absolutely. Was yeah, a crazy show was Tank. Yeah, you. Yeah, Major was on there. Yeah, Silk was on there. Y'all did the damn thing, man. I, this pandemic has just been, I know just as an artist, just you got an album out. Yeah, yeah. Fans want to see you. I remember you did the Keep, the, um, keep Sweat joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've done a couple of one-offs on my own. And, I, and I've seen you've done, yeah. I've seen you've done your, um, your, your own virtual concerts. And Absolutely. nothing like being in front of the fans. And yeah, like yeah, yeah. You're yeah, going yeah. crazy in the comments. Somebody said, one of your fans said, right? She said, why you keep hiding your, your lips behind the mic? <laughs> That's, I think that's one of the craziest comments I've ever seen, hands down, on the show, man. We, we had some crazy comments. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, she was like, I want to see you. <laughs> yeah, man, it's been, it's definitely been a, um, been a challenge, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, publicly and personally, you know what I mean? And, 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 and but you know, we, 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 we I, I remain resilient and creative. And uh, you know it's 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 amazing what you do um, under this type of uh, you know pressure you know I don't know pressure you know pressure or just the, where the world is right now you know it's amazing how um, one can still be creative you know because um, either you are or you're not you know and um, you know I hear stories of other artists who are not feeling as you know creative or just trying to kind of figure it out. I think we all kind of trying to figure it out. Um, you know, definitely my heart and prayers go out to, to the venues, you know, because when we do whatever the new norm is going to be, um, it's a lot of these places that we performed previously are not going to probably, you know, exist or remain open, you know? Yeah, um, just as a promoter, I, a lot of venues that I've had relationships with, man, have closed their doors and yeah and, you know it's, it's it's one of those things where you know there's really no bailout you know what i mean there's really no yeah, bailout yeah 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 for, for for and and this um on, on the flip side of things of you know people they don't a lot of folks don't understand when you're doing these shows and these tours the money and the revenue that you make for the city you know with hotels and flights and and and, and you know, the stages and the venues and insurances and all these different things that come into play and all these expenses, you know, and and, and in these packages, there there really isn't any bailout. So, yeah. you know, for, for, for the creatives, you know, yeah. so every time you've done a virtual concert, I've supported whether I watched it or not. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah. you know, you've always put out great quality um, music, like I said before, so everyone on the check, you know, continue to support your favorite artists. You may not be able to see them in person at this time, but just continue to support. Yeah, you absolutely, know. man. You this know, grab some merch. Given at this time, yeah, yeah, given at All this time, that. a time like this, yeah, you know, is love. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's serious, man. It's serious. A lot of um, a lot of people, you know, DJs and um, I have. I mean, I won't say who, oh, whatever, but you know, I had one of my DJ buddies, you know, hit me months back, like, "Yo, man, I'm I'm like homeless right now," you know what I mean? So, depending on whatever your circumstances, you know, um, as artists, some art, we got some artists that are out here living from show to show, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what, you know, um, what the vibe is, you know, um, you know, if whether you have if you have that cushion as an independent artist or just to t these different things, you know, um, the DJs, man. You know, that, that whole knife, nightlife, it's like, you know, I know I know some of the dopest DJs, so to be able to go from working, you know, seven nights a week, um, some some two, three, two, three clubs a night, mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean, to to now that, you know, to, to yeah. this, you know. Killing the game. Killing yeah, yeah, the game. yeah, 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 it's, you know, 
So, um, again, man, you know, just being resilient, being creative, um, definitely staying in, the, staying, in the, staying in the studio, working, you know, for me personally, you know. And, and one thing I, I want to note um, before I let you go, that you, you've always given back. You uh -huh. know what I mean? Um, through, through your foundation. Um, Absolutely. Um, uh, foundation, I, I know that about you. You've always given back. So for, for, for um, the people out there, can you tell folks um, the things, some of the things that your foundation, what your foundation does? Absolutely. So um, for more information on my foundation, you can tap in with us at Love Life Foundation DMV dot org. Once again, that's Love Life Foundation DMV dot org. Um, some of our recent recent initiatives during you know during COVID and the pandemic have been um, being of service to our uh, essential workers and first responders. You know, early early in the pandemic. Um, big shout out to uh, to Alma uh, and Alma's uh, catering who. Um, I just asked her to be, be, be part of my board. I'm doing some revamping and stuff of that nature. Um, so shout out to, you know, my new board members who have, who have you know, gladly said, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to do work with you and help you take it to the next level. I'm, um, um, you know, with, with her, it was, she was instrumental in, 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 in preparing the meals. You know, she did the heavy lifting, actually preparing the meals physically and then dropping them off, you know, ground zero to these hospitals and different places, you know, um, testing sites and, um, you know, and this is what it was like, this was like lockdown. Like, um, yeah, Alma, Al, her name is Alma and Alma's catering, you know, um, locally here in my city. Um, you know, it's her foundation. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so it's been that, I mean, of course, you know, over the years I've, I've, I've had a um, great relationship with a lot of organizations on the ground in different cities in the fight against domestic violence and, um, sexual abuse of children and, um, you know, sex trafficking, you know what I'm saying, as well. Um, you know, feeding the homeless, those are just, that, that are displaced. Um, you know, we, we've did, we've been, I've been part of some of the biggest, um, you know, food banks in the city, you know, consistently. Um, you know, before the pandemic, we, 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 you know, we did a lot of work over in Southeast. Turner Elementary was our most recent school that we adopted where we would do great things, um, you know, there um, in the whole nine. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, it, 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 you know, we have, a, we have, we have many initiatives. Uh, textbook scholarship fund, which we provide, you know, scholars. We, we have provided in the past scholarships for students, um, some, of, some of them who are which have graduated from, from colleges and universities at this point. You know, where we, you know, we saw, we saw them off their first year paying for their books and supplies for the first year of college, you know, just to help lighten the load. I would, I would have loved to have, you know, put them, put them through school full ride, but, um, you know, we did what we could, you know, um, so I'm looking to revamp and, and, and build and continue to do, do, do work in this virtual space and, you know, um, and, and be that, you know, be that beacon of light, um, you know, to the community. Um, not just in my city, but just, you know, nationally and globally. Salute, King. Salute. That's amazing, man. It's amazing. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of folks out here who don't give back. You know what I mean? Who've, who've been in the game maybe longer than you have. Who yeah. may have more money than you have. Who may more have yeah. you know, whatever the people version of success is, may have more and don't give back. So, yeah. Um, salute, man. Salute. Much blessings. Appreciate uh, what's it. The, what's the website again? People are asking what's the website again. It's a love love life foundation dmv dot org. Once again, it's love life foundation dmv dot org. There you go. There you go. Um I can't let you go without asking you this question. What's okay. what's your what's your what's your top five singers of all time? Mm, top five singers of all time? Singers. Um you gotta put Luther Vandross and Whitney on there. This is no order, right? This is just yeah, it's no particular order. Okay. You gotta put Luther Vandross and Whitney on there. You gotta put uh, um, you gotta put Prince on there. Mm. You gotta put, you gotta put um, you gotta put Michael on there. Is that five? 
Alrighty. That's four. So you, so you said you said Whitney Luther, Luther Vandross. No, you said Wh Luther. You said Wh Whitney Luther. Yeah. Prince. Yeah. Um, Michael. Michael. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. Man, um, it's a lot of great singers out there, bro. It's a it's some singers that I be seeing like on on like Instagram that are like incredible. Like that's you know what I'm saying. Four, like like <laughs> that's a I mean just from, for, for me. I mean yeah, the, the, like <laughs> I want to say Marvin, but I, for the for the. In no particular order, yeah, I want to say Marvin, but then I want to say Stevie, Stevie Wonder. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking like Steve, I'm talking like I'm talking like Boy Wonder. I'm talking like Boy Wonder Stevie all the way through. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's it's tough. That's top man. six. Yeah, that's yeah, that's top my. I, I go with those. You know, those are my my some of my. You know, those are ones I I'm 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 going with. It, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, you were, what were you gonna say though? No, I, I said I, you can't. You can't choose between Stevie and, and yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so that, that, that's, yeah, this, that's top six. Right yeah, grab me, grab me six. Out of the new, out of the new cats. So oh to, man, I gotta to go to the um. I gotta. You guys to. I gotta go to the Spotify for that. Hold on, cause I don't wanna um. Who are some of the people I listen to? I listen to this um a young lady named Rose Gold. Um, she's from Baltimore, but she's in L.A. I listen to um, it's a it's a it's a um, somebody I'm out of my notes, right? I'm putting her in my notes, right? Yeah, now. it's somebody it's somebody out of um, that I'm working with out of Houston, Texas, named Brendan McKinney. You know what I'm saying? Like um, so you definitely want to keep your ears out for that. You want to keep your ears out for the stuff I'm doing with Granique right now. Um, um, but as far as uh, let me see, man. Hold on. I'm gonna tell you, I like Giveon. Um, no, I like Giveon. I like, I like. Um, you, you hip to the female group King? We are King. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes, like yes. King Bananas. You know what I'm saying? Production and and all of that. Um, Ari Lennox. Ari Lennox is fire. You know what I'm saying? Um, 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 one of my new favorites. Um, I know. I, um. Um, I remember Musina put me on her. Um, Alex Isley is bananas, you know, and Jack Dine, and Jack Dine, um, who's also a phenomenal producer and singer. You know, what I'm saying he 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 like got the blue eye soul vibe. You know, he's dope. You know, and he's dope. Like he does. A, he's been doing a lot of stuff with Alex Isley. You know, what I'm saying so. Um, um, what's the girl for she? Um, I think I'm saying her name right. Four C. Um, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, it's this girl from Canada, Savannah Ray. Just crazy. Um, man, it's a it's a lot of different. Um, it's a lot of different people, man. It's a lot. I'm just going through some of the, some of the. Um, I just discovered this girl named um Fanna, Fanna uh Hughes. You spell it, it's like F A N A H U E S. She's dope. I think I seen her on I think I seen her on the Yeah, they just they just um I forgot what publication it was or something that that you know what I'm saying they're like they're like she's definitely one of the um one of the next ones. You know, I do a I do a slow jam show on Clubhouse on the Clubhouse app. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's called Sage and Slow Jams. It's every Sunday night, ten PM. So if you're on the Clubhouse app, make sure you join club sage and slow jams you know follow me on there and um so i'm always you know you're gonna get those vibes yeah 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 those, yeah love king gonna bring you those vibes ladies. yeah automatic it's it's <laughs> automatic you know we, we we be chopping it up with great conversation and you know um what's my man gene noble mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. he's you up on gene noble mm -hmm. yeah 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 he's dope it. It's i'm just so naming cool. like you know just some of the people that um that I think, you know, are doing are doing some really dope things. And then of course, like, you know, they are homies. They season at this part at this part of the game. But like BJ is dope. Um mm -hmm. um uh Ro James, you know, Luke James, you know what I'm saying? 
They'd be talking about like, you know. I like DVSM too. Yeah, DVS, yeah. They dope. Like they dope. Too. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's a lot of it's a lot it's a lot of it's a lot of females too. It's a lot it's so many of them. Like bringing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just bringing it, yeah, for sure. You love you you like the you like the space that R and B is in right now? Um I like the space music is in, you know what I'm saying? Like mm. um yeah, I think uh, it's it's it, it it's tricky. It makes it challenging for dope artists. You know what I mean? Because everything is so kind of like faddish. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I feel like it's not about the just the music anymore. You know, um, but yeah, it's 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 some interesting things happening out there. This is how you kind of go out go about and find it. You know. Because it ain't going to necessarily be on the radio. It's only so much space on the radio. And then it might not be on satellite radio because there's only so much space there. So you got to kind of live in that, like, DSP world. Like, you know what I mean? Just kind of, like, go down a rabbit hole on Spotify. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to search it. That's how I yeah. find a lot of artists. That's how yeah. I find a lot of artists. Like, I'll put, like, Divi on. Yeah. I'll put, like, DVSN. And, and you'll listen to one person and it'll kind of lead you to some other people. Some, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Start the track radio. Yeah, 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 and just go, and yeah, and just listen to like, and then go through the catalog and like listen mm-hmm. to it and absorb it, and like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, but it's a lot of dope artists out there, man. You know, I, again, I, um, I tend to use, I tend to want to use my um platform to, you know, expose people to some of the individuals that I mentioned, and just like, any, right, yeah. anything like, that's yeah. great, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, keep keep my ear to the street. What's going on? Um, I think I read somewhere that you, you speaking of good. Yeah, I think I read. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I think I read somewhere that you are doing something at your label. You got a position? Yeah, 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 man. I, um, yeah, yeah. I, I I was actually um they brought me on board as head of A and R. Um. Okay. Yeah, I recently stepped down. I, it's, it's not no beef or nothing like that, but it's just it's some things I want to focus on. You know what I mean? And 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 I don't want to like not give it the attention it deserves. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, I I you know I do have a passion to like you know A and R projects and curate projects and you know executive produce things and, and things of that nature and be involved in more television and film and. And why not, you know? And I still have, and, and and ultimately, like, I mean, there's some things still that aesthetically that I would like to see happen with my career that I don't feel like I have happened yet. That can still happen. So, you know, I'm 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 definitely focused on that and and, and tweaking it and figuring that out always, constantly too. I I, I ask everyone to come on here. Um, what do you want your legacy to be? Um, man, I'm living in it. I'm creating it. I've, I've I've done so much, you know. Um, I'm 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 in full swing of it right now. I'm creating it, you know. It's all manifesting right now, right before everybody's eyes, you know. To be able to have three Grammy nods under my belt, you know, eight albums, um, solo albums. I've been independent for over ten years. Got my foundation. Been doing some acting. You know, and um, I still haven't given the world my best music yet. You know what I mean? So, so you say you got some else coming. You say you yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some things. Soul, so I got see. some things on the stove cooking. <laughs> yeah, I got some things on the stove cooking for sure. Yep, definitely. Man, my brother, thank you, man. Thank you for everything that you continue to do. Um, yeah. You giving us great music. What a time to be um, in love. In love, right yeah, now, yeah. On platforms. Yep. That bad hitting. That's all it is. The bad hitting. Yeah, um, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's out. It's on all platforms. If you don't got it, make sure you go pick that up. I make sure um, to continue to support Raheem Javon, a good brother, my brother. Thank you for coming on the show tonight. Thank you for this this dope conversation. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be talking again soon. Cause I oh, yeah, man. Us up your sleeve. Absolutely. Um, Mr. Midnight is picking up steam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the airwaves. Call your radio stations, request that, make sure you continue to support. Yeah, yeah. Man. Everybody continue to stream the album. Um, run up the streams on that album, man. What a time to be in love. Um, 
Shout out to your local radio stations. You know, if you if you if you want them people that it's because I got this I got this I got this weird following. I got this following where half of my following is like on on their, their team stream. You know what I mean? And then and then there's a there's a there's a demographic of music lovers that I have that they still listen to the radio. Mm -hmm. Like we know it. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. if they don't if they don't hear it on the radio, they don't know what's out. So, you know what I mean? Because they're not into the, they're not into what we, the you know, the, the, yeah, the technology and yeah, you know what I mean? They're, 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 it, and typically they're probably essential workers too. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So they I, got that that radio yeah, so I understand, yeah, so I understand, yeah, so I understand that. So, um, so yeah, there's some things aesthetically that's happening with the radio too. So just again, um, call your local radio station, put that, put that press on. That secret garden joint is fire too. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Shout out Omar, to um, Omar Wilson. Omar Wilson. Rock, yeah, yeah. Cisco. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that joint is that joint is fire too. So that's that's out there. I see. It's man. crazy. We've been doing interviews, right? And they <laughs> we've been doing these interviews, and they kind of they've been pressing us like, so y'all gonna be a group, right? And um, and um, we kind of got this name now, like that they giving us. It's floating around the fellas. <laughs> So it's, it's, yeah, it's interesting. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's because the synergy. They want more. They, yeah, they want. Yeah, they want. They want more. Yeah, they they want more. So we, you know, I don't know. We may have to do that. Yeah, whatever, man. Yeah, just uh, it's, yeah, just a good music thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it definitely um, it definitely gels well. You know. So shout out to the shout out to those guys, man. Yeah. Oh man, we got a lot of stuff in the works. You know, we just have we going we going we going to end them. Um, we going to leave it on something on the album. Which one to play? You want to play this at midnight? Which one to play for from the album? Um, from the Keep album, on. man. Uh, let's see here. From the album, man. <laughs> let's see. Hey. It's a celebration tonight, something like an anniversary, and woman, you have a special occasion. Yeah. yeah. Close the door, you don't play a while. Close the door, you don't play a while. Oh, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tonight's a special occasion. Oh, yeah. Such a special can I open doors for you, cook a meal for you, even feed it to you. Oh, can I start a shower for you, gather and bathe your body down too, cause like an so reads you, sir, the special occasion. I got the Erica by you playing, baby. Tonight's a special occasion. Oh, 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 yeah. oh baby, baby. Can I spoil and pamper you? Put that baby or you own you. Light some candles all across the room. Can I turn off the lights? Turn them off. To create an ambiance. A celebration. A celebration of this precious I love. Come knocking on my door, baby. I got the Erica Bonnie playing, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tonight. Tonight's a special occasion. And break the trees down. Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah. All day. All day. I've been tweaking. I've been ready, preparing for that slow down with that red light. 
Mikey's our anniversary. The black love in this room. Incense in your perfume. Celebrate like an anniversary, baby. You're that special occasion. I got the Erica Bonner playing, baby. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, 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 baby, 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 yeah. Like this, our anniversary. Like this, our anniversary. Like it's our anniversary. Hey, tonight's a special occasion. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we had to give you the, fl the flow way exclusive. There we go, my brother, my brother, my brother, man. My brother, thank you, man. Thank you once again. Love, you know, love. This song massages my soul. Oh, love, that's, what, that's what the love came to you. You know what I mean? That's what, <laughs> <laughs> massage? <laughs> massage? Massage your that's soul? That's a part of the recipe. Yeah. Uh, if it don't got massage soul in there, we can't. We can't yeah, yeah, it, you know? know? I mean? That's automatic. Vibe. It's the vibe, yeah. Y'all, everyone, thank y'all for tuning in. Rocking with Dick Rocking Me Tonight, my brother. Appreciate um, you. Week, same time next Wednesday, 8 p.m. I got your boy DJ Luke Nasty on the on the, on the, on the show. Um, we're gonna talk to him next week, Wednesday. Above uh, the album, everyone, please, please, please continue to support the album. Call your local radio stations. Um, Love Life Foundation. Is it Love Life Foundation? Yes, yes, yes. The Love Life Foundation. You can log on to Love Life Foundation DMV dot org. Love Life Foundation DMV dot org. More music coming soon. Absolutely. The album is out. Continue to run the numbers up. Call your local radio station. If you click on the um, if you click on the Instagram link in my bio area, there's a full menu where you can order a physical copy of the CD if you want that. If you're one of those people that wants a physical copy, you can order that. If you're one of those people that wants to support, you know, my indie way while we're not working right now and all that good stuff, you can grab some merch. You know what I'm saying? Grab you some merch. merch, on it, merch is fine. Yeah, yeah. Click on the link for that. Um. What else we got over there for you? We got we have a full menu of where you can stream the album as well. We got options on that. Plenty of options. Um, follow me on Spotify. Run them numbers up on the Spotify. Apple Music. Um, title. Wherever you want to go, we 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 here for you. Just click on that link in the bio. Everything you need is there for you there. Yeah. This is my brother. My, I, I know you, I know you um checking out new music. Yeah. My artists, um, my artists I work with, um, very creative. Uh, songstress from Chicago. Her name is Dijar. Okay. I'm gonna send it to you. I'm gonna send yeah, it yeah, to yeah. You. Tap me in. Check tap me out. in. She got a new single called Alone Out, and it's it's fine. She's rapping. She's rapping and singing. She sings. Yeah. She sings. The, her visuals, everything is dope. She does everything herself. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send it to you, Dijar. That's Dijari. what's up. That's that's your little. That's your daughter. Your son in the back. That's my son. That's your son. How old is he? Seven months. Oh man, that's a blessing, right? I could tell he was <laughs> young. Months. You know what I'm saying? Seven months, man. It's a blessing, man. Nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> love and light, love and light, man. Yeah. You have to get his one two in there. You know what I mean? Nah, automatic. It's automatic, he man. You gotta hear me. You know what I mean? He wanted to make it known, like, yeah, I sing too. <laughs> <laughs>